Hey guys, so today I'm going to be melting down some scrap aluminum. You know, some aluminum cutoffs from previous aluminum castings that I've made, along with some other smaller pieces of scrap aluminum. And I'm going to be using the Viver Electric Furnace. I recently picked this up. It's pretty inexpensive. If you guys would enjoy one for yourself, definitely check out the affiliate link in the description below. So while I wait for the aluminum to melt down, I'm going to be making a sand mold. I'm going to be making a few hiker coins, New Jersey hiker coins, because I like to go hiking and I like to leave these on my hikes for other people to get. And I'm going to be using a foundry sand called green sand to make my two part mold for this casting. So I have three sand casting molds made up of the hiker coins. I'm going to check on the aluminum to see if it has fully melted, and it has. It's been about 15 or 20 minutes, and now it's time to pour that molten metal into these molds. Now I'm going to be pouring the remainder of the aluminum into an ingot and at this time I said to myself, wow, I really should have made up at least one more sand casting mold because I do have one more flask. But unfortunately I didn't and I really couldn't remove the other ones from the molds and reuse those flasks because it was still way too hot. But realistically it just makes it easier for next time I use this electric furnace because these ingots fit perfectly inside that crucible.
I'll tell you what, at first and even second glance, I thought they all came out flawless. But then I was like, wait a second, that third one is missing parts of it. But that's okay. It still actually looks pretty cool the way it is. So I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to remelt that down. And uh, I'll still drop it on my hikes because I think it's pretty cool. It's got some character to it. After cutting off the sprue, I still have some small flashing left on the coin that I need to remove. And I like to use the Viver sanding disc to remove that flashing. It just makes things a lot easier and much quicker than using a file or hand sanding that little piece of flashing off of the coin. So here's the three coins that I cast today. I didn't go crazy with sanding and polishing them. I just think they're nice the way they are. And I think anybody who finds them will definitely enjoy them. I hope you guys stick around for a little bit longer for the video and check out my hike. So here is a little glimpse of the hike I went on today and it was such a beautiful sight to see. The trail I was on ran parallel with this beautiful lake. It was a little cloudy today, but any day is a good day to be outside. I have walked this trail many times in the past and I have a few locations that I remember where I have left some coins or some gifts that I've metal casted before. And again, just to show you, this trail runs parallel with this lake. It really is pretty cool. But guys, like I said, there is so many spots that I have previously left some coins I kind of didn't really like that spot, so I figured I'd walk the trail some more, try to find another one, and of course, right around the corner, there's another location, which is kind of cool because I could put that in the center, but this cone was a little bit too large for that. So like I said, I'm going to continue the trail until I find a perfect spot. And I thought I found one. Anybody would be able to see this one walking the trail but I kind of wanted to find another spot. So I continued on to the trail and then I found it. The half broken stump with a nice shelf, perfect location for me to leave this coin. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you stayed till the end. If you did smash that like button and leave a comment below.